Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 39, and it reads, See now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill, and I make alive. I wound, and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the ones that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere I can Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here, forbear another lesson on just fearing the Lord. He kills, he keeps you alive, he wounds, he heals. Look, look, that, that alone, that, that alone should make you fear. That alone, just hearing that alone. You ain't, ain't got to hear nothing else. That alone should make you want to fear the God of the Bible. Knowing that that power, your power, can either kill you, can keep you alive, can wound you, can heal you. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. No, no one can deliver you from his clutches. And we go through this all the time. Every day it's getting bad out here. It's worse today than it was yesterday. That wrath, the wrath of the Lord is coming down. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord. We make these videos. We persuade men and women. Every day, Lord's will, we do it. We keep not silence every day. The Lord got us just like Noah. Warned the Israelites, look, look, for 120 years. But at that time, the children of the Most High, Later known as the Israelites, warned them for 120 years. So that flood was fitting. That flood was fitting. Just like, just like that fire is going to be fitting. Let's get this again. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 39. See now that I, even I, am he. And there is no God with me. And the Lord got these spirits, creative events. You Israelites, you really don't understand what you're involved in. You don't even know what type of power is coming for your head. You have no clue what type of power is coming for your head. He got creatures that's going to scare people to deletion coming, man. Fearful sights. Newly created creatures, man. We're going we're to see if we can get that too. And look, and there is no power with him. I kill and I make alive, I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hands. You, you can't call on daddy, you can't call on mama. Sleazy he's showing up, ain't gonna be able to help you out. But you have it your way though. You you wanna meet him? You're gonna meet him. Or you're gonna meet one of his creations. That, that, that's what you're going to do. You're going to meet one of his creations. That's all. you see. Psalms 96. Just something quick. Through the Spirit of the Lord, one of the elect is edified. And we're supposed to be trembling at these words. Psalms 96 and 4. For the Lord, all caps, the Most High, Yahweh, through his only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, who they agree call God and Jesus is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared. Another lesson on fearing the God of the Bible. He is to be feared, 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 feared. Why don't the pastor ever tell you to fear the Lord? He always talking about love, but he never breaks down what love is, according to the Bible. No, we're supposed to be teaching the fear of the Lord, right? He is to be feared above all God's. Israel still fearing Buddha, you're fearing Allah, Santa Maria, the Hindu God of Shiva, the Kemet gods. All this other nonsense that ain't real. Well, you're supposed to be fearing the God of the Bible, right? For all the gods of the nations are idols, they're not real. They got eyes they don't see, they got legs they don't walk, they got ears they don't hear. But that's who you fear, though. For all the gods of the nations are idols. But the Lord, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, 
slash angels, the Elohims, made the heavens, man. You see, honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Give unto the Lord, O ye kindreds of the people, give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, the glory due unto his name. You will put some respect on that name. You don't make mockery at the name of the creator of the heavens and the earth. How dare you? How dare you? Bring an offering and come into his course. And what's the offering? Our bodies, making our bodies a living sacrifice. You see, the Lord ain't going to have it no other way. Let's get this right quick. Like I said before, just something quick through the spirit. Just flowing the spirit early in the morning, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord. Who kept you safe last night? The Lord. Who woke you up? The Lord. But but you but you don't want to fear him. So something wrong with you, Israelites. But the Lord gonna get you right though. Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 1, verse 10, verse 10. Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 10. But the Lord Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai is the true power. Remember, none, none of these other gods are real. He is the living power, an everlasting king, lives forever, will never die. At his wrath, that's, that's why we need to fear, at his wrath, the earth shall tremble. At the wrath of the Lord, the earth shall tremble. And the nation shall not be able to abide his indignation, meaning his righteous anger. You, you wait till the Lord start putting his foot sideways in your you-know-what. And, and your you-know-what, he's going to do it real soon. That's why we're supposed to tremble at the words of the Lord. Look, we bring this out all the time. He, he controls every aspect of our lives. What we're, we're part of that don't you understand? The Lord controls every aspect of our lives, and I'll get that right quick. I just get it. Every time we say something, we get it. But you're going to get it if you don't get it. Get it? Get it? Sirach chapter 11, also known as Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha, chapter 11, verse, uh, let's see, 14. You people don't know what you're going up against, what you're fighting against, but you will soon come. Sirach chapter 11, verse 14, and reads, Prosperity. And adversity, life and death, poverty and riches come of the Lord. And, I mean, th these scriptures are plain. So, so how deadly serious this message is. When a power actually controls if you're catching hell, if you live or if you die, if you're a bum on the streets or you got a comfortable bed, this is the type of power that we're telling you about. This is the type of power that we're warning you about, right? It's going down, Israel. Let's get um, and the Israelites that remain are gonna know that there is nothing better. That if we're staying so rock, the Israelites that remain are gonna know that there is nothing better. The elect are gonna know that there is nothing better. That there was nothing better than to fear the God of the Bible. Let's get this. Sirach chapter forty. Verse 8, such things happen unto all flesh, both man and beast, and that is sevenfold more upon sinners, death and bloodshed, strife and sword, calamities, famine, tribulation, and the scourge. These are all the different situations that you're gonna that's gonna befall you and that you're gonna find yourself involved in. If if you're not involved in it right now. It says, these things are created for the wicked, and for their sakes came the flood. They are cre created for the wicked, and for their sakes came the flood. Let's just get this too. You, you, you people going to fear. You, you going you gonna to fear. Don't, don't worry about it. When words can't teach, adversity will. Oh, that's why I might, I might name that. I might name it that. I, I might name it that. When words can't teach, adversity will. Psalm chapter 78, verse 49. He cast upon them the fierceness of his anger. You, you don't know that the Lord is angry by now? You, you just don't know. Look, newly created creatures that no one has ever seen is being created right now for you wicked people. 
Many of you Israelites, because this word is for you. The Lord gave each and every last one of us a chance. You know, you, you better jump at that opportunity. If you howl about Hashem Yahushua got you hearing these words, you better jump at the opportunity. Start fearing today. Don't wait. Look, don't put it off from day to day, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. That's what you see going for, vengeance of the Lord. Psalm chapter 79, 78, verse 49. He cast upon them the fierceness of his anger. But you don't hear that, though. Wrath, you don't hear that either. And indignation, righteous anger, and trouble. The Lord bring you bring that trouble upon you, man. But, but you continue on in your wickedness, though, because you got it. Remember, you got it. You can protect yourself. Can't, can't nobody do nothing to you, right? Ain't that what you say? By sending evil angels among them. And then the thing about it, one angel can destroy the earth. And you want to go up in? Come on now. You can't even bust a grape in a fruit fight. But you're going up against a power, you know what I'm saying? They can send an angel upon you. They can actually destroy the earth. And you people, boy. Okay, have it your, just have it your way, all right? Just have it your way. The, one, the warning then went out. Have it your way. You got it. You got it. Matter of fact, let's get this right quick. You got it, though. You got your job. You got your career. You look good. You're tall. You know, everybody wants you. <laughs> hey, look, remember, the Lord wants you, too, all right? The Lord wants you, too. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 12. Verse 13, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. This is for you Israelites, Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Listen up. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. It's going to say why we was created. All right? This is, this is pretty much summing up everything. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, and keep His commandments. We've got to rehearse them to the best of our ability. You see? For this is the whole duty of man. This right here, I might make a part two to this. I might make a part two to this because I got to get rid of the road. This is our profession. This is to warn you. Let's get this right quick. Malachi. Malachi chapter one, verse six. And it reads, a son honoreth his father. And a servant his master. If then I be a father, where is my honor? This is the heavenly father speaking, right? Through the prophet Malachi, right? And if I be a master, where is my fear? You fear your daddy, right? You fear your master, right? But you don't fear the creator of the heavens and the earth. Where is my fear? Save the Lord of hosts, the Lord of armies. Where is my fear, saith the Lord of hosts, unto you, O priests? Yet the so-called leaders of our people, not fearing the God of the Bible, that despise my name. You see that? They despise the heavenly host. You know what I'm saying? Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai's name. Those holy names, those precious names. Those names that are worthy to be praised, worthy to be feared. Worthy to be uplifted. O oh, ye priests that despise my name, you hate the name of the Lord. And the Lord's going to visit you for that. And ye say, wherein have we despised thy name? When did we, do, when did we hate your name, Lord? When you, when you didn't say it. When you didn't praise it. When you didn't uplift it. Ju judgment is coming, man. Se severe punishment. That's why, that's why we know the terror of the Lord. And we persuade men and women every day. You, you, you people don't get it, though. But, but can't continue on eating and drinking, marrying and giving in wives and things of that nature. It's, it's coming for you, though. The newly created creatures, oh, oh yeah, they coming. Don't worry about it. You do, you do what you got to do. Hebrews chapter 10. You continue to do what you do. Continue on in your madness. Because a whole lot of Israelites just ain't going to turn back. That fire has to come upon them. Hebrews chapter 10, 
Verse 31, it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. And it don't get no plainer than that either. It don't, it don't get no plainer than that. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, the true and living power, a power that actually lives Israel. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 11. Let's see where I'm going to start at. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 11, verse 17. For thy almighty hand that made the world of matter without form, form, wanted not means to send among them a multitude of bears and fierce lions. You see, this is this what the Lord can do. He can send these creatures, these beasts upon you, right? Look, look, look. Or unknown wild beasts. Creatures that ain't nobody seen. Unknown wild beasts. Full of rage. Newly created. Newly created creatures being created every day. Breathing out either a fiery vapor or 50 cents of scattered smoke or shooting horrible sparks out of their eyes. You, you don't fear that? Where, whereof not only the harm might dispatch them at once, but also the terrible sight utterly destroyed them. You see that? And this happened thousands of years ago, but this is happening now. It, look, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Yeah, I just want to do something quick. You know what I'm saying? Through the spirit of the Lord, one of the elect is edified. Fear, fear the Lord. Remember, you got spirits created for vengeance. You got creatures, beasts full of rage. Newly created creatures. Breathing out fiery vapors. Fear the Lord, Israel. Shalom.